I'm going to give it three and a half bonds. I would I would do four and one drunken. Oh, wow, four? Yes. Four and a half. Yeah. Five pawns. Five pawns. This is a golden pawn game. <laughs> Welcome to the Drunken Pond. I'm Steven, there's Maurice, and as always, Teresa behind the camera. Uh, this is the review portion of the Drunken Pond. I'm going to make a little stick figure. Oh, we should have your face on it. <laughs> we should get yeah. one little of her face on it. So yeah. Oh, no, I meant like a stick stickly, like from Nickelodeon. It's just like googly eyes and, a, and <laughs> yeah. like a bow tie with a... a it's kind of kind of look like you. Yeah, Do you want to give it tattoos on the sides? <laughs> 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 but anyways, this is the <laughs> review portion of the <laughs> um, We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to talk about on this episode because yeah. we just got done playing a little game called Obelisk by... Um, Tessellation? Was, was it Tessellation? Gobelisk. Tessellation Games. Tessellation Games. They're out of Cleveland. Um, Maurice picked this one up while he was up there in Cleveland. Um, and as far as we understand and we know, this Cleveland is the only place you can get this game. Four stores in Ohio, one store in New York. Yeah. Boom. That's it. One store in New York. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a pretty rare one. Um, you're probably not going to see it too often. Um, we're very happy that we got to play it. And, yeah. And yeah. all that. Um. But we got a lot to say, I think. And I'm going to let Marie start the review today. Okay. So, um, the review is a little complicated because the easiest mode of the game is a game that is beatable. However, we were sitting there doing the strategy and the turn math on this thing, and it was impossible for us to win. <laughs> On that first setup that we on had. On the very first setup. Yeah, the normal very, mode yeah. was impossible. And at the beginning of the playthrough, yeah. you'll see our first setup there, and yeah, it's impossible to win. So, and that has, you know, there are a number of randomized factors to this. Um, you know, where the mountains are, so where your demons cannot go, um, how easy it is, like where's your portal, is it in the middle of the map, or is it on the corner, there's stuff like that, and how you draw the demons out of the dark realm. It's a dark realm. Yeah, if you draw a bunch of green demons at first that gives you extra resources and extra things that you can maybe easily catch however if you draw an even mix like we did we had a very diverse crowd <laughs> and <laughs> it just ripped us to shreds there yeah, was no victory to be had nope you can't yeah anyway i'll stop there because i don't well, want to suck up all the airtime well that's fine no, no, i mean uh, this is i intend on this being a longer review because mm -hmm. of so much that went on um so we even had we even so we we went off camera, and mm -hmm. we actually set it up that first setup we had, in a path the path, because uh, you make a little pass, the path that was the best way, to win the longest the path. longest path. Yeah. So we didn't even have to do the turns, because mm -hmm. you have to rotate tiles as one of the turns. One of your actions. Yeah. As one of your actions, and we didn't even have to do that, and still we couldn't win. We couldn't win. It was impossible. Like, it was impossible to win. Yeah. So that's a flaw. You <laughs> should always have a chance of winning. And it, it, that setup we have, I don't know if it was just a fluke or what. And that was on normal. That was, normal. That was the normal. There are still four additional levels that are harder than normal yeah. that you can potentially set up with. And, wow. And I, I agree. Like I think with anything with normal or harder, you have a fairly high chance of failure just by the, the map. Yeah. That is random. That is random, and the, the order in which you draw out bad monsters. If you draw out all blues and yellows, you barely, you can't upgrade. You can't upgrade. Yeah, I mean, you can mine. About upgrading. Yeah, you can mine. With two players, also is another another factor. With two yeah. players, we can spend our entire whole turn, all four actions, getting just enough to upgrade one dice, one pip, not the even next a whole turn. level. Yeah, not even an entire Which, level. Yeah, so that doesn't that doesn't even give you the ability to capture the yellow guys or anything. Yeah, Arrgh. yeah. There's a lot of frustrating things that, and that I don't even know. We were talking about uh, ways that we may may be able to make it better, but it's one of those things like I hate to do that because the obviously the the makers of this game they had an idea in their head and they mm -hmm. and they 
I'm sure they play tested and everything, and it obviously went well enough for them to make the game. Yeah, that's true. So, that's very true. There, there is the the factor of like maybe it was just all just a big fluke. Mm-hmm. Like we just, you know what I mean? Like we just had a bad, really bad bad map, um, map at the beginning. And it, you know that, that yeah. But it it was very frustrating, especially when we took out a whole action factor and we still couldn't, couldn't do win. It. Yeah. We still couldn't beat it. Like Yeah, we took a normal a, yeah, we took a normal map and made it as easy as possible. Yeah, and we did the normal play with all the, you know, the the cubes mm-hmm. and we still couldn't win. Yeah. So that's 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 a problem. That was a problem. <laughs> and it would be nice um so maybe it behooves you if you do get this game, if you find it, if you play it, go ahead <laughs> and figure out what your longest route is going to be and just in your head give yourself a quick can I even win this game? Yeah. That There's would, a chance it, you can't. Exactly. Yeah, I was just Definitely. thinking, in order to upgrade one die to be effective at getting yellow, you have to capture eight, capture or mine, eight green yeah. uh, things, and then you also have to spend two actions in order to upgrade it to that yep. point. And you have so, to place the obelisk in the first place. So you're talking right. about five turns, six turns? Yeah, and yellows and can move four. Or uh, three spaces. Depending on where so, your portal is, too. I mean, by then yeah. you're you're pretty much done. You yeah. can't. There's you nothing you can do. So if you if you devoted two entire turns between both of you in order to get it there, as long as that yellow thing didn't make it six spaces, well, actually nine spaces. <laughs> Depending on how you're rotating, too, <laughs> yeah. and where your like I said, where your yeah. portal starts. Then so, you can yeah. get one. Yellow cube. So this is, an and extre- if they're traveling together, yeah, yeah, this is an extremely hard game. Yeah, and maybe they made it like that because maybe they just were like, you uh, know what, we want a challenge. I, yeah, and this is the this is like going to be a challenge for people, and mm-hmm. it's, Even but it's also normal. a challenge in the fact that oh, who has the rule book? Look at this rule book. Oh my goodness, the rule book's a whole separate. Yeah, it's like. Two font size. <laughs> I can show it on that. Yeah, yeah, That's sure. Okay. But yeah, it's yeah, it's very difficult to read. Mm-hmm. It's like newspaper print. Yeah. Yep. And it's very difficult to read. The instructions are not super clear. Um, one thing that I had to read like three or four times was reinforcing an obelisk, yes. which as you can see, it's about forty paragraphs worth of <laughs> words. <laughs> And reinforcing the obelisk, I seriously had to read this. I, I have pretty good reading comprehension, I like yeah. to think. And I had to read this about four or five times in order to make sure that we were doing it correctly. Um, for instance, I wanted to make sure that reinforcing the obelisk, you could, you only were allowed to increase it by one pip. Because to me, personally, it seems so difficult to be able to do that. As I just explained, you need to capture... Four gr- capture our mine. Four gr- or uh, eight green uh, cubes, and then spend actions to be able to upgrade. I thought, Ooh, surely a whole turn. Yeah, th- th- I mean that's multiple a whole multiple. two turns for with. But we also got to put the yeah. caveat: this is for two pl- exactly two but players. But there are less. I think there are actually less actions on the four player cards. No, they they're all pretty much the same. Uh, um, no, you uh, can actually get to rotate more. Rotate the tiles more on the, the higher, and it seems like people. this this game has a different set of rules for three. It's not linear. It uh-huh. goes uh, if you're yeah, playing solo, three, yeah. you actually start with resources, extra resources. If it's two people, you get nothing. For three, you start with extra resources. Yeah. For four, you get nothing. Yeah. So, okay. so there's I, that. I, which I is thought weird. for sure, like okay, well maybe they meant a level, not a point, but they specifically say that you. It, Increase the strength of any obelisk by one point, but that's it. That's it. Just one, just one point. For which four means, green cubes. Yeah, which you have to mine or you have to capture. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just the the setup cost of being able to do the upgrading of the obelisk is almost insurmountable. Yes. Yeah. Unless it's very unless you're set on very easy, in which case you have sixteen green. And eight blue and twelve yellow. Yeah, and we and that we makes were a big able difference. to. Yeah, there, if you watch the playthrough, you, we actually could do the easy. We did win. The we won the easy easiest yeah. setting, and we didn't have to do any like you know weird things like set up stuff or anything like that. Yeah. We played it normally, and we were able to win. So, but uh, if we if we can go back to the booklet, the other gripe that I have with the booklet 
is I see what they were doing. I saw the magic and what they were trying to create here with, like Steve said in the in the actual playthrough, is this is a tower defense game. I see what they were doing. My issue with the rule book is they they pumped that story into every single part of that rule book and it makes every single action and every single item a slog to read through. Because I personally don't know who the Queen of Ansys is. I don't have a pre-existing story in my head. It's not like the Pharaoh of Egypt. I already have a bulk of knowledge about that. I don't need to worry about it. I have to now discern what the hell anything is in that booklet. Yeah. Which takes that tiny, tiny newsprint to a whole extreme because every other word you're reading literally doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter at all. Uh, so that was a little... That's rough. That was rough. <laughs> and uh, so, seriously, this is... <laughs> I, soberly, I have played this game three times. I had myself, I'm educated, Teresa's a very good, incredible reader and very smart. I had someone who actually already has a PhD read this game. Nobody could figure it out until uh, my sweet lady and I just dedicated a sober night of trying to get this game understood. Yeah. That is what it took, and that's a little harsh. <laughs> it doesn't. It, yeah, it doesn't help that... There's nothing on the internet about this game either. That's so true. We were trying to look up YouTube videos. I did find a guy that did it, but there's like two or three other YouTube videos yeah. that actually do anything with this, which I'll put a link to that the guy that I found because he's actually he's pretty funny. He's got a funny accent. So <laughs> it was kind of funny. Another thing I just thought about, there on the on the board you have 25 tiles. There are only 7 that are not affected by either a subtraction or by being a mountain. These are not a So mm -hmm. you you have the portal and then you have six tiles and that's it. That's and it. Then these and ones... all other 19 tiles have either some detriment or you can't trot across them because yeah. they're mountains. Yeah, these are lose. If these guys go off the table that you lose, if they go into each other, like say this was like this. If they go like this, you lose. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> there's a, it's a lot of losing. A lot, a lot of losing yeah, states. There's a, a lot, lot of losing, losing conditions. Yeah. And I mean, even if you guys had started out like this, you would have lost. You would have had to spend one entire turn doing nothing except for switching these around. Mm hmm. Yeah, because you can only do two. You can only rotate two on so the, it, it's just really for one random. action. It would be nice if there were some that, like, maybe some pre-planned mm, routes. Interesting. Or some, like, definites that you'll have. Yeah. Um, maybe some examples that you could do. Or if oh. you wanted a real challenge, then you could shuffle them all up and yeah. do it that way. I got gotcha. you. But yeah. keep in mind also, uh, if you didn't watch the playthrough, this is a cooperative game. So Cooperative. Yeah. They, they the two together, of them yeah. were working together to defeat all of the stone demons. So cubes, yeah, the cubes, <laughs> the stone demon cubes with their obelisk dice. But yes, so, so yes. Um, what do you would give? What are you giving this pawn wise there, Maurice? It's, you know what? I was gonna say, Steve. Why don't you give your pawn wise first? Because you so rarely win. <laughs> so <laughs> technically, we lost the first one, and we lost the 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 playthrough that the we set up to win. Yeah. yeah. So we lost twice in order to win <laughs> once on the <laughs> easiest mode but possible. I, I think, Steve. A hundred percent. Yeah. Why don't you do? Okay. It first? Okay. So there's a lot of flaws in this game, but there's also a lot of potential. And seeing how when you put it on that easiest mode, you can win. And it was pretty kind of fun. I mean, I, I, we were talking a lot of crap about it, but I, honestly... You feel so bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Even on the easiest mode, we also had an extra person here Helping to us, help yeah. us That's verify true. and do a third of the work. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I get I get what they were trying for, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I... And I I gotta give them a little, I gotta give them respect for that. Mm -hmm. Like, I get what they were going for. And I understand maybe this is easy for them. Oh maybe God, they're maybe super genius, <laughs> smart level, and this is an easy game for them. Yeah, it's possible. Um, it is not easy for us. We we had a lot of trouble. Um, uh huh. And so I'm starts. going to give it. This might be the lowest score I've given anything so far. And it's. 
I don't mean it. I don't. I'm not trying to be mean about it. And I know this is an independently made game, and right. you can tell it was independently made. And I again, I give a lot of respect for anybody that can make something like this mm -hmm. and this of good quality. It's decent, good quality. The cards are good quality. Yes. The box is great quality. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody that can do that and you know put themselves out there, uh, mad respect. But the game is just too hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm either giving it. A, 2.5. I think it's the lowest I've given anything. I think that's fair. Um, the last gripe that I will give this is that although I do genuinely like the artwork, um, I do like it because I think it evokes kind of that yeah. medieval, fantastical, yeah, queenish definitely. tapestry. Tapestry, thank you. Exactly. Or even Teresa. like stained glass. Yep. Or, yeah. That is exactly what a lot of this looks like. However, the first three times I pulled all these things out of the out of the uh, box, it was like, don't, you know, watch out for the plains and the mountains <laughs> and the forest. And my eyes could not detect what was what until it was on the map. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> they're okay. very similar. Yeah. And also it doesn't matter because there are these little hexes on there. So, yeah. Which is, yeah, that's smart. At least they, they <sighs> put that on there because if you just had to go by the pictures. Nope. I would never remember that. Your that eyes also my, would cross. Yeah, that's my <laughs> yeah. last gripe. Um, I'm going to entirely agree with Steve. I do love that someone put this much effort and love into this game. I think it needs a rule overhaul. I don't mind. You know what? I'll play a game with cubes. I don't. I play Village. Oh, that's dude. just cubes. Yeah, we play care. plenty of games yeah. with just cubes and stuff. So, not no gripe about that. At no, all. but. And the art, keep the art, whatever. Kill Especially, the rules. You gotta also say again. I, I want to stress the independently made thing. Like, yeah, of course it's gonna be cheaper to do that. And I, you, oh, hundred percent. You know, like, yeah, of course you're gonna do that way. Yeah, so, but go ahead. I'm Absolutely no. Um, so I think you gotta. I think they. I think it needs a rule rewrite. I think there's a lot of things. Maybe more play tests. Maybe more play tests. And I think make the hard modes additional challenges yeah I've, we've seen that in games like the bees game and stuff like that yeah, exactly where the easy mode is the normal mode and then they say hey you like this why don't you make it a little harder on yourself yeah, exactly yeah normal yeah normal mode should be the easy yes mode, what they're calling the easy mode yeah. and then all the other ones go up from there because yeah. <laughs> normal mode is not normal that's way way too hard also maybe only make it a couple different modes because there are nine yeah, well, there, well, I gotta say too, oh, there are like extra expansion. things. There's expansions that give you like abilities to do, which yeah. I don't even know how that would work, but maybe one day we'll check that out. Maybe. So, um, for those reasons, um, God, I do see the love in this game. I do. I get it. I am not done playing this game, but I am going to change the rules. So, for that reason, I am giving it a two pawn. Alright, well... You guys are um, like solo. You're yes, both so yes, sad so. about it. Because I see the effort. Yeah. There's so much effort. I'm glad that you guys can both recognize that, that even though we've played this game three times now, <laughs> and, well, I mean, not all the way through three times, but, you know, you guys at least have enough respect for the people who made it, mm -hmm. and also, you know, the fact Absolutely. that there's a lot of love in the game. I mean, I haven't put out a board game yet. And these guys did it, you know, yeah. like, that's good for them. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, maybe you just put it out a little too quick. Uh -huh. maybe Rule rewrite. More play test. Yeah. More play, more play testing, test. more... With, let's move, <laughs> more play test, dumb your audience down. Yeah. Or <laughs> not just your friends. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. people yeah. in a bar. To in a play, bar! To read the instructions yeah. and play through the game. Cool. Yep. But, and if you can't do it there, come down to Dayton and go to D20. You can do it there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, we'll show up and play with you. Yeah, we'll love play to see test the game. Yeah. Absolutely. We've done it there before. I'll yeah. buy you a beer. Yes. I will, yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I think this is the first one that we've given such low scores. I'm going to still say, if you can find it, Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Maybe it's Give maybe it it's just really not our cup of tea and we're completely off base here. It's true. Um Actually, you know, I would love to hear other people's love. cut vomit, uh, vomits. Cut vomit. <laughs> Thoughts <laughs> and comments. <laughs> yeah, basically thought vomit mm -hmm. on this game. Thought vomit on it. Uh, also, this is one of those things I wish more people would interact with the, the page so I could like have 
discourse. Inter- yeah. Eventually. More comments. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know how many people's actually played this game. I, another thing <laughs> I think is maybe do a really short follow up video. I have a couple of ideas for mm. rule modifications that you could do and maybe see then how it goes yeah, after we the could rule do that. modifications Absolutely. and then yes. just do a quick follow up. Yes. yes. Um, if you modify a couple of the rules, maybe just call them house rules or something like oh, that. Oh, house rules. rules. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Anyways, I'm sorry. Keep, I keep <laughs> making it longer. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> no, it's okay. Like, I knew this was going to be a longer review because. Yeah. Again, this is one of the first games that we've ever given this low. And it's only, it's not because we hate you or because we hate the game. Mm -hmm. It's just, it just needs some work. Yep. But yeah, that's it. That's it. So find it, play it, talk to me about it. See if we're just completely off base here. I would love to know your thoughts out there in the world. But I think that'll do it for this review portion of the Drunken Pawn. Obelisk. We had... Rook, Rook, Brewing Company in Rook. the in the uh, Stein tonight French Toast Oatmeal Stout Double Dog. That'll be in the description below. Check them out as well. That was delicious. <laughs> so good. Oh um, my god. Yeah. So good. Uh, make sure you. Uh, what would we say? Suck up that subscribe button. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of what you do in the game. It's weird. <laughs> um, like, comment, please comment. Mm. Um, Hit the bell, tell you what we're doing. We do, normally we normally post about once a week. A uh, new game every week coming at you. So keep an eye out. Uh, so we'll see you next time here on the Drunk Upon. Hopefully here at the table. Come on.